Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I upgraded to the latest beta of Al Capitan, which is beta 8. We are getting really close here to launch, so uh, this build will be very close to the GM, as it's called, the Gold Master release that we'll see on the 9th of September. So I just wanted to run another Geekbench. I did this uh, in the very early betas, and I just want to do a comparison now. Uh, I'm going to run it at a 64-bit. I have a mid-2012 MacBook Pro, uh, it's a 13-inch model, and it has the 2.9 GHz Intel Core i7, was the Haswell series with uh, 8 gigs of RAM at uh, 1600 MHz, and uh, it has the Intel HD 4000 with a gig of RAM for the graphics. Uh, after upgrading to El Capitan, I still have one and a half gigs of RAM as for graphics is what it reports. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if Apple has actually been able to stretch that much more out of it just with Metal. Uh, Metal is a back-end graphics replacement for OpenCL or OpenGL. A lot of you know it for gaming and uh, other platforms to use it like uh, photo editing and video editing. This MacBook normally finishes in uh, 1 minute and 29 to 32 seconds. I don't have anything running in the background besides ScreenFlow which will take a little bit of processing power away from the actual Geekbench so it won't be a hundred percent accurate but I wanted to be able to do this video so you guys can at least see if there is a big you know an improvement or if it's just the same so we're actually coming up here on the final scores and so I scored a final score of 13 or 32 hundred on the one and 6700 for a multi-score that's actually kind of lower this would be comparisons to uh, other and they're all running so i would say in maybe at least in this beta build there hasn't been too much of a jump uh, from average scores so mine's actually a little lower than the average. I've tested this and it could just be because I've got ScreenFlow running too in the background but uh, yeah overall these are just numbers too. They don't really matter when it comes to real world use. Uh, having solid state hard drives makes a bit, probably the biggest difference. Uh, a lot more memory and uh, uh, you know the processor as well so Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys want to do any more videos, and then as the uh, full releases come out, I'll also do updated videos for that too. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Cheers.